Hey Ryan. Hey Tommy, how you doing? Morning Ryan Graves. Yeah, morning Ryan. Um, I'm good, thank you. I'm good, yeah. Hey Kev, how you doing? Hope you're okay. I think I desperately need to clear my bike. Yesterday's ride has put in a bit of a... A bit of a haul. Um, I need to... Uh, I need to give it a nice deep clean around the around the mechanics. The, um, the front derailleur is having a nice hard time shifting to the big ring because of the grime and mud and everything else. That's right, Tommy. Yeah. Well, I mean, I see how it goes. Like, I have no idea how. Um, Like, I'm not going to empty the tank to try and stay in the front group. I'm trying to get the most out of this that I can. Uh, and trying to ride it in the front group is probably not a wise decision. No, Ed, I'm not racing for the win. No. I wouldn't be able to win this anyway in my current state of fitness. I'd get dropped on the out. <laughs> it never races the win. <laughs> Oh yeah, hundred percent. We'll get there. Yeah, just now is not the time. <laughs> hey, Lord, how you doing? Thanks for leaving your comment on the uh, Zift Insider post as well, Billy. I do seventy three K moves. Woo. Cheers, Graham, thank you. I've got a little bit of a saddle saw today. It's not like a saddle saddle saw, it's just like a spot. It's not very comfortable, but I've ridden with far worse. <laughs> I remember getting one like three stages into a seven day stage race and I'm like I'll be alright, I'll be alright. I actually ended up riding it out. It's weird. It's weird how your undercarriage can get tough. It can get real tough. From, uh, from riding. And at the minute, it's very soft. My undercarriage is soft. Ah, nice, Natasha. Yeah, I hope you enjoy it tonight. It, won't, it definitely won't be very hard. Well, it will be. It'll be grippy tonight's workout, but it won't be ridiculously hard. Yeah, I know. I know, Scott. I know. Scott's massive on TikTok, kids. I need to have a bit of a rearrange here. 
Uh, so probably move this to here. Like that. And then have... I don't know what's uh, more important. The power-up button needs to be there. Because the power-up could come. <laughs> I may be in desperate need of power-ups today. <laughs> <laughs> you need some clips. Thank you, Agnes. I just told you I'm glad you can spare a bit of time. I changed the soundtrack. It should be a good one, David, yeah, it should be a good one. Um, I'm going to take it as it comes. Dan Fleeman is here. There's a lot of big riders here, actually. Uh, Nicky's here. Got some Wes riders. Uh, yeah, it's going to be it's gonna be a stack field, this one, so... If, if you're here to see the win, uh, if you're here to see the win, then uh, you've come to the wrong place. Oh, look! Will Bergfeldt here. Bergie! Right, I'm gonna get to. Uh, I'm gonna get over this first climb. I'm gonna see what happens. Don't expect a lot. I get what I can out of this. Uh, but by design, I'm gonna have to go hard up here. Otherwise, I'm running on my own. <laughs> See a professional badge up there. Oh, I'm slipping back. <clears throat> There's Nikki. Is he winner?
solid. That one well. I like doing these sort of rides in a race because I get a chance to like at least even if even if I don't have the legs. If I have the legs and I do a lot of zone three on the Alp, it'd be interesting to see how I can pick people off. If I can, maybe I can. But uh that's why it's nice kind of hanging back almost. It's like doing a real life sport eco grand fondo. Ah, there'll be no breakaway attempt here, buddy. Yeah, we'll be trying to do a lot of uh, gooses drafting. Because of... Uh, I really want to get the most out of the climbs. To the volcano! Yeah, I change it depending on how my legs feel, the training difficulty. Today it's like 70%. Uh, legs are quite tired. Been riding every day this week, so. Big training block. Oh, this is a fast pace, I'll tell you that. I've done about... I've done about 11 hours this week. So today should take me up to like... 15-ish. 15 hours. So, do you remember when I did my FTP test? So, there's loads of different formulas that can estimate your FTP. 
without you having to actually do a test. I did one recently. The test, obviously. A WKO Strava as well, the estimated power uh, FTP. And Mr. Ben Pitt, who is a, a very popular person on this channel, popular. He pops up a lot, is what I mean. He plugged it into Exert. My FTP is apparently now 322, or in that area, which means it's gone up, what's that, 15, 17 watts. Yeah, Mercs. <laughs> With a, a little bit of, uh, a little bit of left as well. So, uh, yeah, so my FTP has now, like, got up 20 watts, almost, in two weeks. <laughs> it's a good way of looking at it, just a volcano, the epic and outlet. I'm riding this climb at zone four. Oh, just below 100% of FTP. So, should be interesting to see where I uh, where I come out of the top of this one because it's slightly longer. Paul Lloyd's training, yes. Yes, Martin Mike Ryder. I'm using the Wahoo to call indoor shots. That's correct, Agnes, yeah. Vegan life is going well. I feel fine. Right, no questions, concentrating now. Upper zone four, lower zone four, anywhere in there. It's getting strong up behind, so I put myself in a good place here. Loads of sliding room. No, not sell up a kilo FTP. No, 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 no. So I won't be killed for 20 minutes. Be careful about throwing that number around, David. <laughs> you know, people think I'm doping. Without context. I think I've already got this, Jack. Although I don't know. It'll look even more dodgy if I, I go from 305 watt FTP 
to 390 in a year, people want to chop my head off straight away. Maybe like that. Not legit, sorry. Not legit. Cheers, Oval. Oh, the hard bits come in. Okay, no more than 330 watts. I'm bound to get dropped, but... Oh, it's super low. Maybe my FTP has gone even bigger. Interesting. It's coming soon, Agnes. Oh, my FTP is definitely higher because this is 330 watts at sub 160. There's definitely a, a discrepancy there. Wow, mid over the top. Uh, definitely downhill, yeah. But also perceived exertion feels lower, so it kind of matches up, even though I'm tired. If I was tired, my heart rate was low and perceived exertion was high. That would be like, ah, maybe. All right, Danny. Thanks for joining everyone and giving me a bit of company for the next uh, hour and a half or so. However long it's going to take, or oh, two hours rather. Hand tuck. Yeah.
Yeah, isn't it just that? <laughs> isn't it just? I'm so happy that training works. <laughs> training works. <sighs> I am surprised at myself a little bit, Roger, yeah. I've never been in this position coming back from, you know, like, like coming back from like a low point for myself. I've never been in this position. I've also never been in a position like I am now and having like an opportunity to, to ride on Zwift as well. Like last time I took this amount of time off, I didn't really do a lot of Zwifting. So I was just comparing myself to how I, you know, my, my best numbers. Whereas now I can compare myself to like a front group like this. So, although it's different because you know, it's different riders and obviously a massive blob, but um, I mean, it, you know, it's still a good comparison. Just, I don't read too much into it. Uh, my, <laughs> I don't know my gaming. My fitness has never been this low. I think my CTL limit is 59. Like my ramp rate has been about 10 for the last 10 days. But I won't be alarmed by that because obviously my training history, I'm capable of holding like a quite a big ramp rate. Um, so it's been pretty good actually. Uh, nice one Josh, cheers buddy. Appreciate your company. Morning Carl. Massive group though, isn't it? Massive group. Which is good. It allows me to recover a bit more. <laughs> It means I can get a bit more at the climbs. And this is something I really enjoy doing as well. So, a lot of riders who, I know the majority of you don't have a four watt per kilo FTP, but for those of you that have, you know, a, a higher than average level of fitness, you know, doing a race like this where you can recover and do um, kind of natural efforts on the climb, is quite a nice way of training. Um, because it's just like doing a big group ride, really. I enjoy it. <laughs> Jeebus indeed, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, like, I don't know about the CTL, because the CTL, it doesn't really give you the big picture, does it? I certainly think, like, it'd be interesting to see, like, when my CTI gets to 100, what my fitness will be then, my FTP, and only then, I think, Mad Gaming, will I be able to look back and go, ah, oh, yeah, I think it accurately represented. Do you know what I mean? Um, but I'm also an anomaly in a sense that, you know, because of all the training and racing I've done, you know, I'm down to, I was down to, like, a 39 CTL with 5.1 watt per kilo FTP, so... Do I think four watts per kilo is average? No, certainly not. It's like two and a half, three watts per kilo is probably average. But there's a massive, the, the, all you great people that follow me, there's a massive, like of nearly 10,000 of you, there's a massive like proportion of you who sit in that kind of two and a half to four watts per kilo range. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, what I'd say about that will, you know, that, that'll obviously plateau at some point. Um, it might just so happen that you're in the right, like you're in the precisely the right state in your fitness to really benefit from it. At the minute, if I was to do a lot of Zwift racing now, I wouldn't benefit from it. But lots of people will struggle to just race and see performance improvements.
But then, you know, there's no problem if you plateau, because it, as long as you plateau, you know, you know that this all you have to do is, you know, change something else. So it's not a case of, you know, that's, that's the end of the story, do you know what I mean? Wow, I'm actually able to recover at zone one, zone two. Yeah. It's a small win for Ed. Oh, it does mean they're gonna take it harder on the coin. <laughs> and I might end up in no man's land. Yes, yeah, switch to RGT, yeah. <laughs> I do, I do think it is mad, especially if you're, um, if you're savvy about picking races, so you can very much do like an undulated periodization where one week you'll do races on courses that you know are just hard the whole time. Um, you know, like Yorkshire, for example. Uh, or, you know, the next week when you focus on kind of volume or whatever, or longer intervals, you can switch a different tactic and use like this route, for example, you know, and get the natural effort on a really longer climb. So you can still get the best of both worlds. Uh, Ed, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what you mean by that. Do you think Zwift TSS scores are too low? Your TSS score will be derived from your power. So it wouldn't it wouldn't make a difference, I don't think. Nice Steve, but fair play. Good uh, good session there. Big fan of those. Big fan of like short hard indoors like that. How long are we riding for Steve? Um, the end of the month, Philip. The end of the month. By the way, I saw your message yesterday, Philip. Uh, I will get back to you. I saw your message on the video. I will get back to you. Please give me a bit of time. Please. <laughs> Boy, Grace, and up this. He's in the chat. He's brought his posse. Yeah, Jelsop's a good rider, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, James is a good rider. Oh, nice, Steve. Nice. No, let's not go straight on this time. Let's go left. Thank you. <laughs> morning, Phil Rich. Enjoy your little race spree this morning. Yes, yeah, good piece of software, Steve. Good piece of software. <laughs> That's one more than Scott, Phil. <laughs> Phil, you're not gonna like the state of my bike today, buddy. It's covered in mud. I had to ride through, the, I rode on cycle path yesterday and the pond has flooded the cycle path. I was coming down to it and the cyclist was coming in. He was like, there's a flood, there's a flood. I was like, I know, I know. So I got to it. I didn't want to ride through it for obvious reasons, so I had to ride on the grass for like a minute or so, but it was all boggy, and I could see the rims were just getting covered in mud, um, and I have rim brakes, not disc brakes. I would like a rim brake bike. Um, yeah, so I need to wash the bike. <laughs> yeah, me too, Phil, me too. I'm really excited. I'll put a fair bit of time into it and trying to think up of a you know a model in which I'm still accessible to everyone. Uh, but also providing you with what you want and need, mainly. The background of those training plans is basically so that it's not just a case of you, you buy a training plan, you get it, you go away and you do it, although you can do that. With this it's kind of encouraged that you have access to the Discord channel, 
you have access to like like unlisted private YouTube videos where we talk about um, you know more in depth stuff around those plans uh, but without losing the accessibility as Mr. Lovett has advised me I'm a I'm a man in high demand at the minute. <laughs> not so much from people who want coaching, just in general. And uh, it's not a bad thing. I'm actually enjoying it, but um, it's, uh, it's making me appreciate the small things, that's for sure. It was definitely a bit of cyclocross, yeah. <laughs> In nasty pasty, nasty pasty, Phil. I was also thinking. Oh, hang on a minute. Said a lot of kilometres are ticking by. Anyone notice I'm not level forty-four? It was achieved yesterday. Can't believe it. I just want to thank my family and my friends, uh, Scott and Phil, and everyone else involved uh, in, in getting me here. It was, uh, it was a slog, I thought we did it. Edmore, <laughs> Edmore Lama. Right, positioning's important now if I'm gonna get spat, so I'm gonna move up a little bit. Oh, my heart remote has died. Charlie's been riding on Zwift too much. That's a shame. Ah. Might be able to charge it on the descent. <laughs> Not quite mad. Chris, uh, zone three. Extra zone three, I'd say. Zone 3 for half the time you're intending to ride like Zone 2 in that session. Right, Tapo Temple. Oh no, mother back. Oh no. No. <laughs> I'll just hang on to the bridge. I can sit on a wheel then. Find a wheel, sit on.
Ah. Oh well. It was good while it lasted. This is where restraining comes in, isn't it? That's right, Robin, yeah. It's a light session as well. I'll be doing the uh, epic as well. Um, Radio Tower. Uh, 4.30 British time tonight. It's actually plummeted in uh, numbers versus last week. Last week was nearly 400. This week it's like 100, oh, 125. So I wonder what's made that um, happen. Oh, radio sour. <laughs> I know chocolate. If I can ride the majority of this KOM in zone three, and then uh, I'll ride zone four up the uh, radio tower. Providing the group can stay with me. Or I can stay with the group rather. <laughs> well, we brought it forward half an hour to 4.30 so they would avoid the total drift. Well, the thing is, Kev, you can reduce the intensity of it. You can like, reduce it by like 10% or something, can't you? You should never let your ego come in the way of a good workout. Um, I mean, I'm demonstrating that right now. <laughs> Just because you kill yourself to get 30 minutes into the workout, it depends what the workout is. Most of the time I would rather somebody tone it down a bit and get through the workout. You can add the intensity later. Yeah, that was for last. So that'll be in the next one, Robin. That'll be in the next one. I've got to make sure I've got enough content for one post a week. <laughs> if I can ride at this pace up the Alp, 4.2 watts per kilo, do you reckon I will catch a few? I think a couple would have blown by then. The cat did my shoe. Are you part of the Discord channel? I think there's a link down below. 
You can find like-minded people who want to ride that with you. Oh, Harry Monta's run out of battery. I'll charge it on the descent. Yeah, you reckon so, Tommy? That's good news, isn't it? It'd be nice to reel a few people in. People are getting dropped now after riding, you know, probably 115, 120% of FTP and they can't maintain it. It's a short sleeve base layer, huh? Sleeveless base layer. Gotta let my armpits breathe. Actually, up the, I've just had a thought actually. Up the Alp, I could use the hairpins with some surges. I think I'll do that. Massively, Thomas. Yeah, I'm wearing socks. Bullying myself with what? <laughs> Morning, Zach. Six hours today for you, is it? Hats off. I've messed up the loft now. Let's go. Little group. Vico. Zalakane. Ooh, nicely, I'm nice. There is a little group uh, 30 odd seconds in front. It's not a bad gap for where we are. Depends what you're training for, George. Um, if you're training for steep climbs, like where you have to produce a lot of power at low cadence. Uh, they're pretty good. They're very specific though, like they do recruit and help with efficiency, just like high cadence work does. Are you asking because I'm riding 80 RPM? Charlie's had a uh, COVID jab today. She just had it 13 minutes ago. Because she's front line. Took her absolutely ages to get a slot for it. Absolutely ages, no slot. Hey Robin.
Yeah, it's a good way to use your time, Zacker. Oh, nice, James, nice. Yeah, I ride lower cadence on the turbo, yeah. Although I ride pretty low outside. Unless I'm doing intervals. <laughs> nice one, Jan. I can still see a big group up there. Not that far ahead. Thanks for the ride on, Phil. <laughs> Good morning, Melvin. Long time no see. <laughs> what are you say, <saying>, Robin? <laughs> this is a training race, remember? So it doesn't matter what I do in it. It's not it's not to work on my tactics. Like if I plan to do uh zone four effort up the radio tower. It's purely for training and to break away from the group. Although there is a group kind of behind, which isn't a bad thing. Yeah, I used to run a lot, yeah.
That group will catch me now. Awesome downhills indeed. Yeah, we'll do that too, Josh. Yeah. Eighteen twenty one, fastest time of the epic. Stand and sprint. I don't know. Uh, 921. Eighteen fifty-three for the majority of them up that climb. I'm gonna be about two minutes down, yeah.
Oh, four minutes down. Oops. Now I am stuck in no man's land. Lionel Sanders gave me a shout out in his live stream the other day. I joined the live stream. I said, how you doing, buddy? And he said, Ed Laverack. Admire what you do. Keep doing it. Uh, wrong, Robert, wrong. Every zone has a benefit. See you in a couple of weeks from group. See you, Sammy's. Nice, Kev. Nice. See Jacob.
Too early to say, I think, Kev. Too early to say. Oh, you mean my weight? No. I'm already pretty lean, but... Somebody said that I was like an unhealthy, underweight professional cyclist on Facebook. On that Swift Insider post. That's what they call me. An underweight, unhealthy pro cyclist. And I commented back saying, uh, I'm not a pro cyclist. I'm also not underweight or unhealthy. So, go figure. Like, that's probably his interpretation. Whoa, 100k an hour! My word! I would say something about COVID recovery. So the reason why so many people are asking about it, I'm like, you know, how when should you get back into cycling, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Do you know when I when I hang out with like, you know, club just general club cyclists, it's always the same. If any of them get ill and they show up to a group ride, I always say to them, "Why are you here?" And they're like, "Oh, you know, I thought it'd be good. You know, I get back on the bike. It's, you know, I, cl I clear some of my chest." And, uh, I'm like, "No, like." Fitness is always secondary. Like, your health is the most important thing in your life. If you don't have health, then you can't ride your bike anyway. So why bother? So the thing with COVID, because it's been, like, pushed heavy in the media. Like, obviously, yes, it, it's, like, it's quite a deadly thing. Just like a lot of things. But, like, the recovery from it would just be the same if you had pneumonia. Or if you had... You know, like, um, a really bad, like, chest infection or something. Like, people st people I know ride outside with a chest infection. I'm like, what are you doing? Just wait for it to recover, like. Like, just cut yourself some slack. I know it's hard to do. But, like, so when you ask a question, like, tips for recovery from COVID, you should really be asking tips to recover from every illness. Because it's exactly the same advice. And that's the rest and be patient. Eat well, sleep loads, and make sure you're hydrated. It's funny how there's a lot of talk about vitamin D and everything. <laughs> and people are taking vitamin D and they're still sleeping five and a half, six hours a night. I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> sleep nine, ten hours, and then take the vitamin D supplement. <laughs> Sorry, I went on a bit of a rant there, I apologise. <laughs> Cheers, Kev. Thank you, the cat hit my shoe. How much sleep do I get a night? I get on average about nine hours. On average. Very weird, uh, something's going on in my power. The cadence is really low. The uh, power graph's gone a bit funny. If you look, it's gone like really blocky. <laughs> it's not even a case of like people don't know when to take a break, but it's hard enough getting people to take a break when they're ill. It's even harder to get people to take a break when they need a break. Like, not from being ill, but just because they need a break. <laughs> oh, it's incredible. <laughs> oh.
Yeah, I know, I know, Patrick, I know. I know. You know, Charlie works in the NHS frontline as well, so. It's just, the recovery, you know, should be no different from any illness. You should still rest, you know, and do the basics, you know. Cheers, Darren. By the way, Rodri, I will get back to you. I will get back to you. Chances of overtraining are very low. Unless, of course, you've got a very difficult job. Overtraining is a little bit easier to achieve. But um, it's actually harder to overtrain than you think. Like, you've got to be doing a heck of a lot to overtrain for the most part. And it's more to it than just like, um, you know, riding yourself into a hole. There's other things that contribute to that. So you might not actually be riding yourself into a hole. You might not be training a lot, but you're not eating enough. And that'll cause the same issue. Of course, cat. Cat in my shoe, rather. Of course, you can. Everybody can, actually. <laughs> I think it might just be my legs. I don't think it is the turbo. I think it's just my leg. My legs feel like, what's this power we're doing? <laughs> uh, I've got an Alienware PC. Um. Jacob. See ya. Hey, we're inside the top 50, yeah. Good plug, Kev, good plug. <laughs> good plug. I need a bit more fan power here. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, that's it as well, isn't it? Yeah, we don't realize how little we eat as well sometimes. Especially when you're training a lot. Or riding a lot, not just training.
My hashtag Wahoo. Wahooligan <laughs> fan. Am I indeed? Oh, Robin! That's a new storm shield from Band of Climbers. It's very, very good. Very, very good piece of, like, technical wear. It hasn't rained, I haven't worn it in the rain. It was minus two yesterday, I just wore it with a merino base layer. Long sleeve. Like, I was... I was riding zone two, like, no intervals, nothing. And it was like, it was like not warm, warm, but it was, it was good. Too good. <laughs> it's definitely a different material to what I've ever seen. Like it's different to a Gabba. Uh, extra small. The extra small is quite tight because again, it's only meant to be worn with a base layer. So, it's kind of, for me, what am I, 177 centimeters, 61 kilos, my hip is like 20, I'm like a 29 inch, uh, well, 29 inch waist, so, 32 inch chest, so, extra small is like, it's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I should, you need to ask them guys. Send them an email and bombard them and tell them to give me a discount code. It's far more powerful coming from you. Leave it as a north in your order. <laughs> Stuart will love that. There we are then, Zach. Yeah, you love an extra small. I'm sure you love an extra small. 42 minutes, you reckon? How do I deal with ice on the on the road? Uh, I either wait till the afternoon or I ride indoors. No, I don't have a code for banana climbs. Yeah, I don't know about that yet, Robin. <laughs> I haven't done that yet. I'm the face of Bach. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> 42 minutes, I reckon, for this climb. I'll be going some, that will. That will be going some. We'll have a go. I'm hoping it won't take me longer than 45 minutes, baby. Here we go. Let's get those likes in early. Oh, I won't do it in 42 minutes then. Yeah, short one, Robin.
I hunted you down. I think I found a sweet spot for training for the deer. It's like seventy percent. Basically flatlining my power very easily. There's a nice blob of the road. I got a chance of getting inside the top 40 maybe. Nice Tommy, nice. This is also where my patience comes in. <laughs> nice, Josh.
And I see him so he's... The thermal long sleeve one. Not this, no. Not the storm shield, you mean. The other long sleeve. They got a thinner one and a thicker one. Oh yeah, the Storm Shield is like a race cut, so... I mean... Probably... A small... In a Storm Shield for me... Would also be fine. Like it wouldn't be bigger. Really. An extra small is just that... A little bit more snug. Morning. Going well. Going well. How you doing? That's right, Ian. <laughs> Enjoying an app, Ian. Hi, good, Ralph. Getting by, how are you? <clears throat> yeah, not doing so bad on the app. Good effort done. What's up? He got a sticker. He got a sticker because he got the jab. Is it? Here's my sister nurse friend. She's doing a
Yeah, I'm doing the total stations. How is it, Phil? I don't use any breathing uh, stuff, no. The sleeves are shorter on this, Robin, yeah. Really doesn't matter, Paul. Really doesn't matter. Whatever you feel best with. All right, monitors run out of battery. He ran out of battery about an hour ago. Yeah, but there's people all over this mountain, so I doubt uh, I'll catch any more. <clears throat> hey, up goes. How's your ride going? What have we done it? Ah, it's not a challenge really, Paul. Just part of my training.
You haven't, Josh. They're 42s. Right, let's I bounced between different sizes throughout my career. I actually preferred going wider. Yep, nails. Thirty-six bars. Blimey. Charlie runs thirty-six bars. I can't ride with thirty-six. My arms are being there. Yeah, that's right, Kevin. Yeah. Super. <laughs> Coming up to Happy's hand soon. Maybe you have such narrow bars. Help you maneuver through the bunch. Cheers, Dex. That's because I'm on different training difficulty to you. Yes, Kev. Unless you're a strong rider, I wouldn't recommend riding out at 100% turn difficulty. You might well blow out your knees. You'll be very sore riding the out at 70 RPM. Morning, Craig. Tough courses, yeah. Maybe though. No excuse. Day off for me tomorrow. Written every day almost.
By the way, did you hear? My FTP is now estimated at 322. That's up from 309 just over a week ago. I wouldn't listen to what people say about training difficulty. I'd use whatever you think suits you the best. That's why it's there. It's not there for people to point the figure at you and go, you're using the wrong training difficulty. No, I missed Koo's FTP test. How'd he get on? You'll always have people like that, guys, because just like in a Tour de France, on a really hilly stage. Some guys will choose a different gear ratio and others will stick with what they know. And people will still point going, why is he using a smaller gear? What's wrong with him? Man up, use a bigger gear. Same with training difficulty. <clears throat> 5.14 watts per kill for 20 minutes. Really? I thought it'd be higher than that. No disrespect. I just assumed it'd be higher. Yeah, I could do Craig, yeah, good, good shout. Yeah, Andrew, yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm not in a base period as such. I'm in a prep phase. Oh. I'm trying to find my, my sweet spot at the minute. Not my sweet spot. As in, I'm trying to find my, my place. I did a video on the best tips for juniors. Surround yourself with the community. Yeah, I'm doing these uh, bursts on purpose. Feel the heart rate up now.
Yeah, I should be able to handle a cab, yeah. That's the intention. If you're on low volume, Andrew, if you're doing like less than eight hours a week, yes, don't be afraid to add intensity. Indeed I do, JW. Indeed I do. Not far to go. So a nice descent. Yeah. Nice and Josh. No, Andrew, I'm doing a mixture. I'm doing a mixture. Uh, well, mainly zones or two, yeah. Like, 80% almost. Actually, the right on trend. And the follow. I'm a former pro. <laughs> I'm a former pro and a very keen cyclist. <laughs> I love cycling. Thanks for riding on the <laughs> I'm one class myself, so the least cyclist snow though. Nice one, Derek. I'm glad Ruben's helping you. Are you eating enough, Ben? Are you sleeping enough? Thanks for the ride on, crazy lady. <laughs>
Thanks for that. I'm trying my best. Well, a pro would get paid, wouldn't he? A pro would get paid. An elite would be doing it as a hobby, but at a very high level. This is an erg mode, Craig. Can you try and sleep like seven or eight hours? Ben? Six hours ain't a lot. That'd be a huge factor in your recovery. <laughs> yeah, I am a Turk, yeah. I'm not a Swansea Jack, that's for sure. We're nearly there. This is taking a bit of concentration, this. I reckon my heart is about 161. No, Matthias, I wouldn't say it has. Nothing obvious, anyway. I don't think I'm going to do 45 minutes, am I? These surges are obviously increasing my heart rate. Thanks for the sub. It could be different for you, no Mateus. It could be different for you. You could have it really bad. I don't wish it on you, obviously, but you never know. We'll see, Tom, we'll see. Do you remember when we had that Team Sky race up here? Our team in Yosem. Rowan Dennis did his thing. Yes, Michael. Hey, Matt, how's your ride going, buddy? <coughs> it won't be an instant fix, though, Ben. 
by going to bed early, a lot of people won't uh, be able to change that quick. Yeah, sorry Tom, I changed the uh, last minute. Anything over like 1.6 would be a good EF number for that. For a ride. Depends what you're, uh, what intensity you're riding at. No, zone 3, Ralph. Zone 3. I'm not an active pro, no. One more corner. Oh, definitely, yeah. Definitely, Tom. You can die is going well. Oh, plant based. It's going well. Right on, buddy. <laughs> Cheers, Carl. No, intensity factor would stay the same, wouldn't it? Otherwise, you have nothing to compare it to.
sun goes dropped everybody Yes, Ralph. Forty five minutes. Come on, little group, stay with me. Stay with me. Come on, guys, you shouldn't be surprised by that. <laughs> you shouldn't be surprised by a 45 minute time. I might have the advantage here because I'm on a Tron. Don't be silly, those of you that are slower than that time, you're still doing a hard effort. Don't get caught up in like metrics that other people are giving you, like everyone's always talking about the Alp and like comparing times on the Alp. If you're no good at the Alp, like don't stress about it. You'd be better than somebody else or something else. One ten. Oh, nice, Ralph. Nice. <laughs> yeah, thanks for reminding me of that, Phil.
a chance to shake the legs out. You can have a stretch as well as you, if you like, but I won't stretch for too long. A lot of people get cramp. If you can, a really nice way of doing it, really quickly in a race, is to unclip. Sit forward, lean forward on your bike, and then put your foot on your saddle, on the nose of your saddle, and you don't have to sit back. You don't really have to move at all. Anyway. Uh, for, for a lot of people, just putting your foot there is enough just to have a quick quad stretch and then shake it out. Um, and do the same for the other leg. You know, just a couple of seconds. Just to give it a different position. And then clip back in. I'm going to end the stream now because Sean Vinton has just joined. It actually takes ages to get down here, doesn't it? Now, how are you doing, Sean? I'm good, thank you, Sean.
Gotta practice this position because my legs cramp up if I stay there for too long. Oh, heavy on the brakes. Let me down. I'm through. Down again. Yeah, you reckon, Zach? You reckon, yeah. I won't be surprised. I'm not looking forward to this next bit. Keith Key is giving me a ride on. Um, I think I've done about ninety K an hour downhill in real life. I think I was in a race. Ah, uh, in training, I've never, I've only got the hills around here, really. I just about get like 80 on a good day. It's not the best place, like. Sixteen k to go. We have the dreaded jungle. Yeah, jungle's crap, it. There's a jungle out there. He's beating me with one leg. <laughs> huh? He's beating me with one leg. You can do plenty of zone three and sweet spot for your muscle endurance, Andrew. Um, and then include the kid and stuff for added spice. Hey, we might scrape a top 40 here. We're on for a top 40. Could be a tasty little sprint in the end. <laughs> With no power-ups. <laughs> Have some training plans coming out at the end of the month. You might find some benefit in them, Andrew. Keep an eye open. Keep an eye open.
Oh man, yeah. High speed on, on two wheels is just... It's mental. They're actually riding hard. I don't think we'll catch Iverson, although... I don't know. Bergie's on his own. I prefer a uh, disc brake, but I've only ever used it on demo bikes. I've never like had my own bike with a disc brake. No, you don't, Sean. You. <laughs> I mean, I've, I've, when I rode in, in Australia, like the thought of a kangaroo coming out was like, like the chances in Australia of it happening are probably higher than like a cow in the UK. Mr. Phil Lovett, we're gonna have to get you comfortable descending. <laughs> yeah, Phil. Yeah, that's true, Robin. Yeah. Yeah, maybe Andrew, not yet though. I'm only just getting grips of cycling again. Ah, oh, this jungle. It's horrific. It's grippy as. Come on, Ed. Just got this bit to get out of. He'll do you good.
Here we go. Talk kind of action. Actually, no, I'm not going to go over this sprint because <laughs> I have a session again later. We got this, we got this. I'm doing about 15 hours a week now, uh, Andrew. I'm doing the Zwift event that's on at 4.30. The one with the boat racing team. Ready for WCRL League. I wouldn't really call it training. Well, yeah, I mean, I would, yeah. It's more so practice. Yeah, and it's a team time trial as well, so. It's mainly zone one, zone two, Jojo, yeah. It's about 75% zone 1, zone 2. This week will be a bit different. There's a lot more zone 3 this week. Come on, Eddie, got this. Get over the climb with these. I'm a home and dry. I might even take it a bit easier and deliberately get dropped so that I have a cool down before this afternoon. I don't exactly want to be going into the session. That's right, Robin, yeah. I'm pasty and I shall I'm pasty.
There's no sun, that's why. It's not strong enough. Yeah, so zooming odds. Stay with the group. We made it. <laughs> Add more, yeah. Yeah, you don't have to tell me it's hot. I got uh, relatives on both sides of us. They say the same thing. Queensland and uh, Perth. At Gold Coast, sorry, Gold Coast and Perth. Yeah, hot over there, yeah. Yeah, we will, we will visit. Australia is definitely on the, uh, on the agenda. I just gotta try and like suck up that long haul flight because I remember like flying there. Well, I've flown there three times, so I've made six trips in total back and forth in that long haul. Ah, oh. I mean, Australia's a great place to go, but boy oh boy, why do you have to be so far away? <laughs> I know, I know. Yeah, we did well, didn't we? We did well, Phil. We reeled some people in there. Definitely Malaysia, yeah. Charlie did a stint in Thailand and Malaysia because uh, she's got um, friends of a family. Um, in, I don't want to bodge it, I think it's Malaysia. Um, so yeah. We've got an excuse. Taiwan is I Taiwan. I mean, it says on my Instagram bio, it says a world tour of climbs. So, you know, we rely on the good nature of people and we'll be visiting all these places in the next 10 years for sure. Sounds like a long time, I know, but a lot of things can happen in 10 years. I'll only be 35 or 36 in 10 years. But you'll still be crazy young on the face of things. Ed's will too. <laughs> no worries, Kidal, no worries. Flight is just a flight. You'll love that, Niels, although you'll be just giving us facts about all the planes all the time, won't you? Which I'd love to hear on a 20 hour plane journey. I gotta be honest, I love flying. Charlie loves flying. It's an, inc it's an incredible mode of transport. You know, looking down on, on the planet and You know, mind boggles like you know how how large the planet is. Yeah, definitely Sean, definitely. I'll have to go to Melbourne because 
I told Charlie that I would take her around like all the places that we went to and we visited there on the training camps and stuff. So I <laughs> know it's a shot. I'd probably have to visit my family in uh, Perth and then on the Gold Coast the other side. But uh, we'd definitely have to go to Melbourne. Geelong as well. Yeah, we went to Bendigo, uh, Sean. So we used to fly to Melbourne and then drive, I don't know, what is it, like two and a half hour drive? Three hour drive north? The Bendigo. So I remember on the last training camp we had, I actually took the opportunity to get a train from Bendigo to Melbourne, and I had like a nice day out in Melbourne on my own. Um, it was real nice, real nice. Such good coffee. Such good coffee. I'm nice, Sean. It's 20 minutes from Geelong. That's cool. Yeah, nice, Goodell. You got a nice little Australian posse going on. <laughs> yeah, I remember it being three hours because it was a long old time. Bendigo and Ballarat, they're like the two kind of, I guess, or back, back like obviously when I was um, back when I was riding for Rafa, um, at Bendigo and Geelong, everyone would always talk about it. The bunch rides at Bendigo were just like a massive. I won't be sprinting, Ben. No, we didn't, Sean. We didn't. No. At the time, like the t I think the time we were out there. So do you remember Zach Dempster? Um. And oh, I'm blanking on his name, no. Darren Lapthorn. So Darren Lapthorn and Gavin Dempster, not Gavin Dempster, Zach Dempster. Um. We were in Bendigo at the time, we used to do a lot of riding with them. Because of course, Darren Lapthorn used to race for Rafa Condor. So, uh, they were training for the Worlds then. Not the Worlds, the Nationals. It's a Tron, Wayne, it's a Tron. You have to climb like a lord to unlock a Tron. So, uh, <laughs> it might be a fair old slog win. <laughs> Although you'll enjoy the descent. Oh, nice, Kadel. That's cool. Cheers, Kev. Cheers.
All right, sure. I'm here. Name dropping. <laughs> My heart rate sensor has run out of battery, so that's why it's not on. <laughs> nice one, Sean. Enjoy those crits. I know you guys love your crits. Actually, here's a question before you go. Is the tour down under on? Did I read that right? Is the tour down under going ahead? There is a fair difference between the Tron and, and some of the bikes wearing, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Ben. It's a 4 CB epic climbing. Cheers, Dex. There's plenty, there's plenty of, um, there's plenty of bikes on, on the, in the game, Wayne, that are, you know, almost as good as the, um, almost as good as the Tron. So I wouldn't worry too much about getting the Tron. Um, you know, get, get it as part of, like, you know, your normal riding, like, climb little and often, and you'll eventually unlock it, but... You know, I, I'd probably say, you know, just stick to clocking, clocking up the levels, clocking up the, the drops, the money. You'll be able to afford a bike, it's pretty decent uh, compared to the Tron. Oh, that's a good point, David, yeah. When you, when you log in, Wayne, on the home screen, where you select which world you want to ride in, you have to select like challenges. Actually, I think you could do it from this screen. On the menu, you can select a challenge. You have to select the climbing challenge, the Everest challenge. Ah, it's an entirely domestic event. Interesting. I suppose they've got to make it happen in some form only. So, fair play. Yeah, I agree with you, that Bill. Yeah. Oh, are we gonna have a quick TSS guess before I go? Charlie wants to jump on now. Quick TSS guess. <laughs> Sorry, Ralph. Hold up. Hey. 3.8 watts per kilo for two and a half hours. That's nice, isn't it? That's nice. It's nice, as they say. Nice, nice. Got to get Bergy right on. My 27 beat per minute average. going on here who won I wonder who won come on come on come on ah Sango so he he was actually leading over the top of the uh, over the top of um, what's it called the Alp so he managed to hang on obviously and increase his lead slightly interesting interesting although I mean, look at that, 4 watts, everyone's doing over 4 watts per kilo, it's pretty mental. Although, I wouldn't have said that that was an easy race, judging by a lot of these riders' heart rates. Like, I know some of, I know some of the riders and I know what they're capable of, so, those heart rates are fairly high, considering. Apologies if I don't give you a ride on, I'm only giving a ride on to the riders that I, uh, that I know uh, well enough. Um, I'm not showing any favoritism if I give you a ride on, by the way. <laughs> I've been pulled up on that before. 
Yeah, potato guy, second, look, Pedersen. Wasn't he second or third in the world? Anyway, whatever it was. Looks like he's a little bunch kick between uh, however many there are here. A bunch kick of 10 riders, so. And then there's like huge gaps in to everyone else, but. I'll take that, you know, like 12 minutes down, considering. Or well, 15 minutes down, considering I was off the back straight away. And my watts per kilo isn't that much more than what they were doing. Of course, their normalized power would be higher than mine, but my average power is not that not that far off um you know what what's needed to get you through so <laughs> cheers yeah nikki's up there nikki's up there. okay quick tss flipping like i'm a bit sore now i've got to be honest end the ride Ooh, solid, look at that. Nice little green block. 181 TSS. Get out of here. So, that doesn't feel like 181. <laughs> so, um, so, I'm actually going to bring that down. Um, my FTP has changed according to WKO, according to intervals.icu, according to Strava's estimated FTP calculator on the power curve, and uh, what else was there? Exert. So they all say that my FTP is now 322 instead of 309, so that's a fair increase. So I'll drop that TSS ever so slightly, uh, not by much, like I'll say 160. Um, I will go from there. So, uh, yeah, pretty sound, pretty sound. I enjoyed that. It was a, it was a good, good chance for a longer ride. That finishes my week now, technically, apart from tonight. Tonight I'm gonna do um, the workout at four thirty, and then that'll be it. That'll be the end of my week. Uh, rest day tomorrow. Um, And actually, I actually sent, uh, somebody said, send me the, um, uh, send me the ride file and I will do it for you on exert and, uh, exert, exert, don't know how you pronounce it. Um, and it came out with 322, but all the others that I've used, they're all coming out like 320, 321. So, um. Yeah, they're, they're all very, they're all fairly similar. They're all fairly similar. So, I don't got oil on my leg. Right, what were we saying? Right, thanks for joining. You got me through that one with relative ease. So thank you, I appreciate it. Um, we'll see you, uh... oh, that makes more sense. Hey, that's pretty good, isn't it? That's not bad at all, 26 watts difference. Happy days. Right, thanks for coming. Um, uh, appreciate it. Uh, nice relaxing morning, indeed. Um, yeah, agreed. Yeah, the descent did pull the average down a fair bit, didn't it? There was a lot of time freewheeling and doing absolutely nothing. So, all's well. Um, right, uh, I'll see you soon. Have a good day. Have a good weekend, and uh, uh, enjoy your bike riding. See ya.